All right, we're back here in Park City, Utah. John Oglesby, Big, Media, Big Sky Media Relations Director for Football. We're joined by James Kowser, defensive end for Southern Utah, one of the more, I don't know, I, I, I always enjoy talking to you. You're okay. just a great guy, great representative for the conference. Uh, what's this been like for you? You were obviously here last year, but what's this Big Sky Media kickoff been like for you this season? I love it. It's so fun meeting the guys and like seeing that they're actual human beings and they're not just <laughs> someone I have to hate on Saturdays. It's fun meeting everybody, spending time with them, get to go golfing with just people that you, you can meet people that you, yeah. you see around, but you don't really get to know. And I really appreciate that. And it makes the games more fun too. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt about that. So let's dive into obviously last season for you guys, playoff team in 2014. Yep. Bit of disappointment last year, kind of take a little bit of a step back. How would you describe last season for Southern Utah? Uh, very disappointing. I think you said you said a bit of a disappointment. It was very disappointing. It was hard. I mean, we're really competitive out there, and it was tough dropping off like yeah. that, especially as a defensive player. I mean, our defense kind of fell off a little bit, but we're looking to get back. We're we're working hard in the offseason. We're putting in the time, and we're ready to get back to the winning. Yeah, you're obviously a preseason All-American this season. You've been successful many, many a year in the Big Sky Conference. What do you kind of look at as your role? on your team, in the conference, mm -hmm. you know, even nationally? Uh, I think first, I've always felt like, it's interesting, as a freshman, when I came in, I was always a vocal leader. Mm -hmm. Like, they just needed me to be that guy yeah. to kind of get after people, yeah. but I've changed. I'm not as vocal as I was, I don't have to yell at people, but still a leadership role. I think I gotta do things the right way, and people will follow. And I, I don't know, that's the, that's the way I see life. Like, if you work hard, if you do things the right way, success will come. And I just, that's who I want to be, and that's who I want to be seen as, you know? You know, it's interesting because Southern Utah now pretty established uh, in the Big Sky Conference, you know, continuing to kind of gain more respect, mm -hmm. gain more notoriety as a member of the Big Sky Conference. But how would you describe how the Southern Utah contingent views yourselves as a member of the Big Sky? Uh, I th we're still fighting for that respect. We still feel like we, we are better than what people see us as, you know? <laughs> but, I mean, I'm sure that's how every team feels, you yeah. know? But we believe in ourselves. We're highly competitive guys out there. Yeah. And we're just looking to win games and show what we can do. We can play football. Absolutely, three and nine last season. Did have two big wins, though, come over a couple of your rivals, yep. Weber State and Northern Arizona. You obviously grew up, you know, 10 minutes from yep. Stewart Stadium, the Weber State campus. How would you describe how you view, you know, Weber State as a rival? As a rival. Uh, it's interesting coming right from the, like as the, in their words, right from their back door. Yeah. That's what they always taught to me during the recruiting process. But, uh, I mean, I got so many friends. A lot of friends yeah. go there. I got a lot of family around yeah. there. So yeah. it's, it's a big game. I get a lot of people that I know come out to that game always, and they're always talking about that game. So it's just a little added pressure, but I always love it. You know, it's interesting, too, because you played – for pretty proud high school tradition there mm -hmm. in northern Utah, Davis High School. How would you describe kind of your background as a high school player preparing you to be a co good college player? Uh, an athlete. Yeah. I was a little out of position. My yeah. two years, I was a 210-pound nose tackle, yeah. three-tech. <laughs> so that's a little rough. But, I mean, I made it work. Uh, Davis High is also a big-time basketball school. Yeah. And so I got to play basketball, and I think that helped a ton. So I think it's just pre preparing me as an athlete for anything that I face now. You know, it's interesting. You and I talked a little bit last night. You're in a grad program mm -hmm. for communications. Where do you kind of see yourself after football using that degree and using <laughs> your time at Southern Utah as a student? Shoot. I, that's the good question. I don't know. I thought I had a direction, but, you know, things change. Right now I'm looking at research. Yeah. That sort of aspect about uh, studying human behavior, how people work publishing articles, trying to do that kind of stuff, maybe a little bit of teaching, probably not a little teaching, but it's an option. You know, it's interesting you talk about that because Darnell Sankey with Sac State, he's a comm major as an undergrad. He talked about how, you know, he enjoys the speaking aspect. The oh, for real? The public, yeah, you know, he really enjoyed the, the public atmosphere a little bit more, mm -hmm. whereas you-, you A little behind the, the scenes. Yeah, yeah, you enjoy the research a little more. That's interesting. So we're talking with James Kowser, defensive end, one of the team leaders for Southern Utah University, the T-Birds. Got a good season coming up. That's right. Some good games on the schedule. You got a Friday night game at Weber State. They 
Got a good game, an FBS game at Utah State that'll be exciting for people down there and exciting for us in the conference. I want to get your thoughts. Where do you guys go this upcoming season? Uh, Hopefully only up. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't win too many games last year. I don't know. I believe we got a chance at the conference championship. Maybe. I honestly do. I really do. With the way that our offenses come together, mm -hmm. last year we got a new offensive coordinator, yeah. Gary Croton. Yeah. We had a couple quarterbacks. We didn't really know what we were doing there. So it took the offense a little bit of time to get rolling. And then we've shored up some holes. The defense, we're a lot more deep. I think we got a chance. I mean, I'm sure everybody says that, but... We really do got a shot. But you're feeling good about it. Yeah, I mean, you got to shoot high. Yeah. That's what you got to do. Why not? You know, you're <laughs> media day. Why not just throw it out there? Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing, <laughs> nothing wrong that at all. So we got a couple more questions, and then we'll let you go. First question I want to ask you. Uh, we've asked a lot of different players this. Um, we've had a lot of... A lot of, you know, we've had linebackers, we've had quarterbacks, we've had wideouts, we've had DBs. Ask about thought process in that two seconds before the snap when you look across the neutral zone at opposing players. Uh -huh. What's your mindset as a DN? As a DN? Uh, I read it. Uh, I read a, an article from a, a pro player, and he, like, okay. he summed it up really well, what, like, what I think. It's like the thinking is done, like, as soon as everyone comes out. That's what I'm... Yeah. So when everyone pipes, I'm looking where everyone is so I get my alignment right, looking at how they're aligned, know what my assignment is, and then you gotta turn the brain off. It's all right, this is what I do, this is what I do. Get my hand down, let's go. I can't, you don't think, you just gotta react. Just gotta react. James Kowser joining us here at the Big Sky Media kickoff here. We've got a couple more questions left. We've got kind of a serious one and then we'll do a fun one okay. kind of to finish it off. Let's go. So we'll go. We'll go with the serious first. Your message, to the Thunderbird Nation, your message to the T-Bird fan base is we're again about six, seven weeks away from kickoff mm -hmm. of the season. Uh, expect big things. Expect us to to be competitive in every game. I mean, you can't, you can never guarantee a win. You can never yeah. do that. But expect us to come out and be competitive every game. Give ourselves a chance to win. Okay. Now to the fun question: How well are you going to do today in the golf tournament against <laughs> the other against the other players? <laughs> Oh, all right, here's my goal. It's the scramble, right? Yeah, just yeah we got to scramble. Have the team take my ball once. That's just, my just, goal. That's my goal. I don't got to go. Just, just once. Talk about setting that bar high. I can smack the ball, but it won't go straight. <laughs> all right. You heard it right there. Expect more things on the field than on the links this season upcoming for James Kowser. But always a good pleasure to sit down. Thank you so much. Appreciate it so much. That's James Kowser, James Kowser, Southern Utah University DN. Looking forward to big things upcoming this season for the T-Birds. We'll be back in just a moment, continuing this parade of student-athlete interviews on the live stream. Back in a moment to Park City, Utah, watching the Big Sky media kickoff.